uh, we just arrived at one of the butterfly sanctuaries here in Mexico, and it's, uh, it's quite interesting. It's uh, a lot of tour buses, a lot of people just sort of milling around, going to the bathroom, waiting for their guides before we start uh, what they're saying is an hour, hour and a quarter hike up to where the butterflies actually are. So, uh, and we have some puesto, some food, and uh, we have some horses that you can rent. I think uh, Lisa and I are going to do the hike up. This is uh, Piedra Errada. Butterfly Sanctuary that we're at today. This is where you can rent the horses, take you most of the way up. Cost uh, 250 pesos. And here we are, we just started the walk up. Lisa's, Lisa's uh, wishing she had taken the horse uh, at this point. And we've barely gone anywhere. <laughs> Even the horses get the rest here. Oh, no, no, no. I see, I see. Okay, this is the last chance here. They, they don't need nothing here. Nothing at all. They have a reserve for yeah. the bodies, okay? They eat the milkweed, okay? There is, here we don't have that kind of plant. That plant is on the United States. There is the, the place where the bird flies that come from North US and, and East Canada. Well, they come from, and they on that way, they, they feed from that uh, plant. There is uh, uh, milkweed, okay? Um, that uh, something, well, talking about the, uh, that uh, flower, they, or that plant they, they eat, is uh, poisonous, okay? And that's why the butterflies are poisonous. That's why they only have two pre predators. There are two kind of birds, okay? Uh, the rest of the, the animals we have here, they respect, let's say, the butterflies. So that's why the color of the butterflies is like really... Uh, Vibrant? Uh, yeah, the, 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 you, you will see the world. You have uh, watched some pictures, right? So that's the reason to... Uh, to say the the predators, to say, warn them, hey, 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 take care with me. Yeah. Okay? So that's the reason they can last like for uh, well, during all the trip to Mexico and then the, the, the way back. I'm gonna tell you about the cycle because there is something marvelous about uh, the the butterflies. The, the butterfly that come comes to, to to Mexico is the one that goes back to, to Canada and North US, but the one that is coming on the next year is not the is not the same. Okay, so the the biologists they don't know how they know where is the place. Okay, because they have made many many research about this about the magnetism of the of the earth about the wind uh, how it's running the the wind, but they don't really know. They are still working on it every single year. When they arrive here, the researchers from all over the world, they are coming to the to the center of the reserve because we are going to the to the surrounding of, of the mm -hmm. main reserve. We will see them because we will get next to the main reserve. Okay, so they come every single year to make research about uh, about the bird flies. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about the the cycle. Or there, there is a map. I'm gonna show you the map and. Then we, if you have any question, here we have the expert, and uh, if you can ask uh, in Spanish or if not, I can translate. Okay. The most uh, uh, well, uh, quantity of uh, butterflies we have here in Mexico, they come from uh, southeast uh, Canada, northeast uh, U.S., and they come to this area. Okay. This is the only sanctuary in the state of Mexico. This. We have some others in the state of Michoacán. We're really close to the state of Michoacán. And they were really famous in the past, the, the, uh, the sanctuaries in the state of Michoacán. But now, this is like really nice because it's uh, closer to Mexico City and we can see many, many butterflies. Uh, what Pablo told us is that there is a route, a possible route that goes maybe to Cuba and then 
to uh, Yucatan, okay? We don't know, that's why the, the kind of line is different, because we are not sure about the way they take, okay? Uh, we are sure about this, and how we know? Uh, the researchers or from, from the 19th century, the, the, the researching was, uh, they marked the, the butterflies, I mean, uh, a researcher from the U.S. he went to this area and he marked some butterflies, and then he came here and asked to the people who lived here, "Hey, if you see this mark, tell me oh on gosh. a dead uh, butterfly." Okay? There is a maybe on the internet you can find the the the, the program that the researching uh, about this. You look for a uh, butterfly. Uh, in Spanish is El Vuelo de la Monarca, the flight of the monarca. Maybe you can find it in Spanish and translate it, okay? It's a really nice video about this, okay? So they mark the, the, the wings of the, of the butterflies, and then when they came here, the people from here, they saw, oh, this is marked, okay. And with the number, with the register uh, that was put in this area, so that's why they knew that some, some of them, they death here, but most of them here, okay? Okay, because they made here, and they go and put the, the, the eggs on this area when they are on the way back, okay? And the male, el, el hombre es el que muere, sí, pues sí, la mujer no puede morir, porque the male uh, dies when they, they mate, after they mate, okay? So, uh, we will be speaking about yeah. this, this cycle, but for this, like, 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 this, yeah. <laughs> this uh, map will give us uh, an idea. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't, we don't have the, the roots in, in Australia, but mm -hmm. also, well, uh, we know that in Australia you have really nice butterflies, okay? But here, the idea is that... And do they, they stay in Yucatan or do they also they come here? That is what we don't know. You don't know, Be okay. Because they don't stay that, uh, like, that no. longer, okay? We don't know if they come here or they go back. All right. And yeah. they rest in this area. Yeah. We're not sure about no. that. Right. Yeah, not now. No. Researchers are, are doing their, their job. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, on for the flat part? Yeah. <laughs> We've been... Been hiking now for about 40, 45 minutes or so, and it is. Uh, of course, we had several stops here, but uh, not as uh, quite, not quite as, as steep as it was before. Mostly, it's steep and it's high. Yep. High altitude. High altitude to get to. High pitch. for the horses and that's bad news for us because that just means it's going to get steeper and rougher from here on out and you can see it look it's like the Everest Congo line yeah about ready to head on up there Congo and Leong we're told we're about 150 meters from uh, Stop their heads, take them back to where they're uh, and, uh, back to and so, yeah, these butterflies normally become active somewhere between 10 and 4 every day. Uh, only if there's uh, no clouds or you know, it's uh, mostly sunny. So uh, we start seeing them now. Thank you. 
there's just a massive number of these tree branches here. Well, we made it down from the butterfly sanctuary. What did you think of our little trip today? Well, that was quite an invigorating hike, wasn't it? Yes, uh, the, the hike up was uh, was, it was strenuous uh, at altitude, and the, uh, it wasn't super steep, but just being at altitude, and anytime you have elevation change, there it's going to get to you. Some parts of it were super steep. Yeah, some pieces were super steep. Yeah. In the end, it was about 3.2 miles round trip, mm -hmm. and. Um, we took us about three hours. There was a long period where we were standing in a line. Yeah, I would say that it was about an hour. About yeah. an hour where we moved about a hundred meters. It was like Everett, uh, Mount Everest base camp. You know, everyone sort of hiking in a row on a narrow, a single lane track. Waiting for everybody else. But it, that was actually good because we saw a lot of butterflies there, and since we were standing, we had time to take video and take pictures. Yeah, but uh, you know, today we, uh, I think there's a there's a higher level of this trail which they had closed off. Um, and as we hiked up, it got cloudy and the butterflies weren't super active. You know, so, uh, you know, for me, it was a little, it was a little disappointing. It was nice that we could see thousands and thousands of butterflies on the trees. Yeah. Um, you could see some flying, which is pretty cool. But we were but, uh, expecting more. Expecting more, I had high expectations. But that doesn't mean I won't do this, I wouldn't do this again. You know, I think I would, I think I would do it again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, possibly at the, uh, you know, at the other one of the other butterfly sanctuaries, and there's yep. four, four of them here in Mexico. Uh, this is what the, this was the closest one. The other thing we had a problem with uh, was all these people, and what I heard was that uh, there's, there's more people here today than normal, principally because it was National Payday yesterday. So everyone has money. You know, so they to come, money to come, come on this tour. Yeah. But uh, we do it again. Yeah. And it was um, all in all, it was a good time. I think I'll be a little. Uh, sore tomorrow, but um, principally from the downhill, my legs do not like going downhill. Ah, uh, my knees didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you uh, slide on your ass any today? I never quite landed on my ass. No, did you? No, not me. Not but uh, I was also impressed with, uh, there were numerous, numerous abuelas, grandmothers up there. Yeah. I, I, I was, I, they, those women, men. Those women Diosis. had some fortitude. Yeah, had some fortitude. Yeah, exactly. They had the fortitude to go up there and do that. And come super, down. Super impressed. With like canes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can barely do it myself. You know, like refrigerator, small refrigerator women with white hair and canes. And you're like, really? Do you know what you're in for? 
But they, they did, did it. it. They did it, man. In fact, they inspired me because I thought if she can do it, I can do it. Yep. So, thanks for watching. And may your suitcase always be messy. Until next time, so ring that bell so you can subscribe to our channel and get notified of new videos. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista.